Imagine a tiny spacecraft, no bigger than a car, hurtling through the void of space, billions of miles from home. It's alone, surrounded by an endless sea of stars, carrying humanity's dreams and questions into the unknown. This is the story of Odyssey 1, a probe launched on a warm September morning in 1983, a time when shoulder pads were big and the internet was just a whisper. Back then, NASA dared to dream beyond the planets, to touch the edge of our solar system and maybe, just maybe, glimpse what lies beyond. Odyssey 1 was built to explore the gas giants, to unravel their secrets, and then sail onward into the cosmic deep end. What no one expected was that, over four decades later, this little machine would still be whispering back to us, sending signals that defy everything we thought we knew about the universe. Let's rewind to 1983. The world was buzzing with optimism and curiosity. Odyssey 1 blasted off with a mission to visit Jupiter and Saturn, our solar system's heavyweight champions. Equipped with cameras, sensors, and a computer that seems laughably primitive today, it had less processing power than your smartwatch. This probe was a marvel of its time. Its golden antenna gleamed under the Florida sun, ready to beam back data from places no human eye had ever seen. By 1985, it reached Jupiter, and the images it sent home were jaw-dropping. Swirling storms, bigger than Earth, danced across the planet's surface. We saw the Great Red Spot up close, a hurricane that's been raging for centuries. But the real surprise was Ganymede, one of Jupiter's moons. Odyssey 1 revealed a cracked, icy surface, hinting at a hidden ocean beneath. Scientists were floored. Could there be life under that frozen crust? Two years later, in 1987, Odyssey 1 swung by Saturn, capturing its rings in stunning detail. Those rings weren't just pretty. They were a cosmic puzzle, made of countless ice and rock fragments, some as small as dust, others as big as houses. The probe also spotted Titan, Saturn's mysterious moon, cloaked in a thick orange haze. Its instruments detected methane lakes, a discovery that sparked dreams of future missions. These flybys were more than photo ops. They rewrote textbooks, showing us that our solar system was far wilder and more complex than we'd imagined. But Odyssey 1 wasn't done. Its mission was extended, its trajectory set for the stars. It was on a one-way trip out of the solar system, into a realm we barely understood. Fast forward to 2015. Odyssey 1 did something no other spacecraft had done before. It crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence fades and interstellar space begins. Picture it, a lone probe, drifting through a cosmic no-man's land, where the solar wind gives way to the galaxy's vast currents. This was humanity's first step into the interstellar frontier. The probe was now over 12 billion miles away, so far that its signals took nearly 20 hours to reach Earth. Yet, against all odds, it kept talking. Its power supply, a radioactive battery, was designed to last a decade, but engineers at NASA had built it to endure. They rationed its energy, shutting down instruments one by one, like a captain dimming lights on a ship lost at sea. And still, Odyssey 1 sent back data, whispering secrets from a place no human-made object had ever been. What it found out there changed everything. Interstellar space, we thought, was mostly empty, a cold, dark void. But Odyssey 1 painted a different picture. It detected magnetic fields twisting in unexpected ways, like invisible rivers flowing through the galaxy. It sensed ripples in the plasma, the charged particles that fill the space between stars. These ripples weren't random. They carried echoes of distant supernovas, explosions that happened long before humans walked the Earth. The probe even picked up cosmic rays, high-energy particles zipping through the galaxy, some born in the hearts of dying stars. This wasn't a void. It was a cosmic symphony, alive with forces we were only beginning to understand. But then, in 2024, something extraordinary happened. Odyssey 1 started sending back signals that didn't make sense. Its plasma wave instrument, designed to measure vibrations in the interstellar medium, began detecting patterns, structured, almost rhythmic pulses that didn't match anything in our models. These weren't just random noises. They were consistent, repeating in ways that felt deliberate. Scientists at NASA were stunned. Renowned astrophysicist Dr. Elena Marquez, 
who spent decades studying cosmic phenomena, called it the most puzzling data I've ever seen. She wasn't alone. Across the globe, researchers pored over the signals, trying to decode their meaning. Were they a natural phenomenon, like waves crashing on a cosmic shore? Or was something else at play? Let's talk about those signals for a moment. They weren't like anything we'd seen before. Cosmic radiation, plasma waves, even solar flares, they all have predictable patterns. But these pulses were different. They had a cadence, a structure that seemed to carry information. Some scientists suggested they could be caused by interactions between interstellar particles, maybe a new kind of plasma wave we hadn't discovered. Others pointed to magnetic anomalies, regions where the galaxy's magnetic field bends in ways we don't understand. But there were bolder ideas, ones that sent chills down the spine. Could these signals be artificial? Could Odyssey 1 have stumbled across something? Or someone? Out there in the dark? The idea sounds like science fiction, but hear me out. The universe is vast, with billions of stars and countless planets. If advanced civilizations exist, they might use interstellar space as a highway for communication, sending signals across the galaxy. Odyssey 1 could have wandered into one of these cosmic corridors, picking up a message not meant for us. It's a long shot, but not impossible. The Fermi Paradox asks why we haven't found alien life yet, despite the universe's size. Maybe the answer is that we've been looking in the wrong places. Maybe Odyssey 1 is our first glimpse of something bigger. There's another possibility, one that's just as mind-bending. These signals could be linked to dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up nearly a third of the universe. We can't see dark matter, but we know it's there. It shapes galaxies, bends light, holds the cosmos together. What if Odyssey 1 is detecting its influence? Some researchers speculate that the probe's signals could be caused by dark matter particles interacting with the interstellar plasma, creating ripples we've never noticed before. If true, this could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for, a clue to one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Operating out there isn't easy. Odyssey 1 faces conditions that would crush most machines. Temperatures near absolute zero, relentless radiation, and distances so vast that every signal is a miracle. Its antenna, battered by micrometeoroids, still points toward Earth, guided by a computer older than most of us. NASA's team works tirelessly to keep it alive, tweaking its systems, conserving every watt of power. Yet, the probe endures, a testament to the ingenuity of the engineers who built it. It's not just a machine. It's a time capsule, carrying the spirit of the 1980s into the stars. Beyond its science, Odyssey 1 carries something else, a message from humanity. Etched onto a silver disc, it holds sounds of Earth, waves crashing, birds singing, a baby's laugh. There are greetings in dozens of languages, music from Beethoven to traditional drums, even a diagram of our DNA. It's our calling card to the cosmos, a snapshot of who we are. If another civilization finds it, billions of years from now, they'll know we existed. They'll know we dreamed of reaching them. The probe's discoveries have inspired a new generation of explorers. Its data on Ganymede's ocean fueled plans for a mission to drill through its ice. Titan's methane lakes sparked ideas for a robotic boat to sail its alien seas. And those mysterious signals? They've ignited debates that could shape the future of science. Projects like Stellar Arrow, a fleet of tiny probes designed to travel at a fifth the speed of light, owe their existence to Odyssey 1. These missions will chase the questions this little probe raised. What's out there? Are we alone? What forces govern the universe? For over 40 years, Odyssey 1 has been our eyes and ears in the cosmos. It's shown us that interstellar space is no empty void. It's a dynamic, mysterious frontier. Its signals, those haunting pulses, remind us how little we know. They could be a glitch, a new natural phenomenon, or something we can't yet imagine. Whatever they are, they've forced us to rethink our place in the universe. Are we on the verge of a discovery that will redefine everything? Or are we just scratching the surface of a mystery that's bigger than we can comprehend? One day, Odyssey 1 will fall silent. Its battery will fade, its signals will stop, and it will drift forever through the stars. But its legacy will live on. It's taught us that curiosity can outlast time, that a small machine can carry the hopes of an entire species. It's a reminder that we're explorers, driven to seek answers no matter how far the journey.
So what do you think those signals mean? Are they a cosmic coincidence, a clue to dark matter, or a message from someone out there? Odyssey 1 may be alone in the dark, but together, we can chase the light of discovery.